Hey there, welcome to another Photoshop quick tip. While I'm working on other Photoshop tutorials, I thought I could make another quick tip uh, for you. This is for Photoshop CS6 only, I think. Um, what I want to show you is how you can create snapshots. See this new icon here, which is uh, on the history state. Uh, see this little camera here. This is to take snapshots and you also have a duplicate states icon. I'll show you how to use those. Uh, by the way, if you don't see the history, go to window and choose history and uh, you'll probably have it outside like that, but uh, just you can drag it right here on the on this dock here. So uh, when you open an image, uh, you can see you have it uh, the initial state here and uh, you can if you make a change to your document, uh, this is a PSD that I made uh, some time ago. I don't know if I will make a tutorial of it. It's not finished yet. I don't know what I will do with it, but uh, I can use it for this uh, to, for this tutorial for this video. So let's say I want to add a color balance, for example, and just make some crazy adjustments like that. And I want to compare that uh, with another change, uh, for example, um, and. What I can do instead of uh, undoing and hiding layer, creating multiple color balance adjustments, what I can do is take a snapshot. So just click this icon and you can see another state has been added here. So if I want to make another change and compare it, uh, I can simply change the settings here on the, on the adjustment. Uh, this is really, it's looking really bad, but uh, well, anyways, um, let's say I want to compare it with this and take another snapshot. So if I want to now compare these two, I can select um, I can select between these states here. And you can also see that you can use the history brush to uh, brush back in the history. I don't know how that works. I don't really use it. Uh, but you can see you can um, you can compare these two states even with the initial state. So you can make comp uh, comparisons really, really easily. What you can also do is, and you can create as many snapshots as you want. I think you can. Uh, I think there's not a limit to that. And um, while well, you can then go back to your history here uh, if you want to, and you can also delete this. Okay, so let's delete those. You can also create a duplicate. You can create the duplicate of the actual uh, state that you have. So, for example, let's add a curves adjustment. And let's go to the blues, just to making really quick adjustments here and add some blue on the shadows, make sort of a split tone color grading change here or whatever. Okay, I made this change and I can duplicate the state. And what that does is it creates, it creates another tab here. Uh, I just discovered this, so I don't really know why this could be useful. So um, you can duplicate the states, but I know I don't really know why is that useful. Uh, I have now two documents here, so if you find use to that, you can uh, maybe depending on the workflow of uh, each of you, you might find it useful. I don't really find it really useful. So, but well, here you have it. You can duplicate the states and create new documents. And if you want to close it, it will ask if you want to save it. Uh, I will not save it. Let me close all of those. But the snapshot feature, I use it uh, sometimes to make quick comparisons. So, well, that's the quick tip uh, of today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.